Hi everyone and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm trying some more things from New Zealand. Spaceman candy sticks. I'm pretty sure they used to have these around when I was a kid here in Australia. I remember I used to beg my mum to get me some of these, but she wouldn't. My mum was a big fan of tough love and no treats. And look what's happened now. Now I'm making a video and I try all the treats I want. I can't get them out. I was not expecting this. What is this? I really like the old fashioned packaging on this and how cute is this? Actually it looks like little cigarettes, probably kind of wrong for kids in a way. And I'm sure pretty much as kids you go, oh look at me, I'm smoking. That's so wrong, but that's probably what you do. Look at me, I'm, I'm actually doing it the wrong way. You can tell I'm not a smoker, can't you? <laughs> Maybe this is why my mum didn't get me these. <laughs> don't really know what this is. It's got like a chalky candy consistency to it and the flavour, well it doesn't really have much of a flavour, it's just like sugar flavour. Hard to describe, what flavour is this? Doesn't say, that's for sure. I'm really having trouble describing these. If you're really into sugary sweets and candy then you're probably going to love these. Go and beg your mum for some and she'll probably say no. Whittaker's L&P Chocolate. I have tried the L&P drink before which I absolutely love. So let's see if this chocolate is just as good. Let's see if I can get into it, hey. I think that's supposed to just slide out, but I've screwed that opening up, haven't I? Gold foil packaging to make it look extra sexy. Ooh. Oh gosh, there's stuff going all over the floor. So this is what it looks like. It's a white chocolate and what does it taste like? Oh, that broke off successfully, didn't it? Oh my gosh! There's popping candy in it. Oh! There's popping candy in it. What? Oh man, it says it on the label. So it's a creamy white chocolate with a lemon sort of flavour to it. And it's got popping candy in it. It actually does say it on the cover, but I never read things really well before I try them. I like to give an honest review and I just try it and then go, what's going on? Popping candy is going on in this one. It all makes sense now I look at the label. Look at this, that white chocolate exploding there with popping candy. Oh! Sorry, I don't handle popping candy very well, you can probably tell. The flavour of the chocolate, it, it's not too bad, like I'd eat it again, but I, I just don't know about the popping candy in it. I suppose it's a lot of fun, isn't it? Not as fun when you're not expecting it though, actually no, it's more fun. I'm a little bit undecided on this one, I mean I'm sure that kids would eat this and they'd say, wow, isn't this a lot of fun? I'm eating it going, why is there popping candy in it? Uh, I don't know, I'm boring. Munchos. And today I have a cheese and onion and a spicy tomato. How Aussie did I sound when I said that? Spicy tomato. So I always sound Aussie, but still, that sounded extra Aussie today. The spicy tomato. Okay, have a look at those. I can't see them yet. You're seeing them before me. Sometimes I do want to have a sneaky look and look at them first, but then if I go like this, then people might think I'm looking at me, and I'm not. I'm looking at the food, trust me. If there's just choice between looking at myself and looking at food, I'm always looking at food. <laughs> always. Oh, that's what they look like. They're very light. They sort of feel, I feel like you could package things and keep them safe with this stuff. It's very light. That's what it looks like. So there's some kind of corn snacks. Mmm, they're nice. Mmm. They're very light and crispy and they have got a tomato flavour in them. Pretty good. Oh. Geez, you'd finish these really quickly. Well, I would. Oh. Cheese and onion. Well, they look the same, obviously. Oh, yum. Oh, 
Once again, really crispy and tasty. They're not overly packed with the onion flavor, so afterwards you can actually still speak to everyone and you won't like have, you know, scary demon breath, which is great. I mean, and I don't know if it's my imagination, but people with bad breath always seem to be close talkers. You know, the worse their breath is, the closer they want to get to you. And they don't take the hint that you've taken a couple of steps back. They just keep chasing after you. Yum! And you know what I love about this? That later when the camera goes off, I've got two monster packets of these that I can, you know, eat, eat, eat and make myself sick with. And if you've got excess salt on your hands, just wipe that on your pants. Time for beverage break and today I have another big fizz and this one is apple and summer fruits. I know this is an apple this time, it's not a fajoa. I can never get over how big these drinks are. I mean look at the size of my head, right? And look at the size of the, well of course you're looking at the size of my head, you're watching the video. And then look at the size of this drink. It's huge, it's like the size of my head. I usually wouldn't have a drink that big, it's just too much for me. It's stripping on the floor. I'm expecting it to be like an apple sort of colour, and it is. Ooh. It's pretty exciting, isn't it? Cheers. Oh, that's nice. So it's like a sparkling apple juice, but it's actually got some other fruits added in there. I think I can taste pineapple and I, I don't know if I can taste anything else really. I mean what's a summer fruit? What would be classified as a summer fruit? I could read the back of it, couldn't I? It's got a picture of some fruits on the back. I said pineapple. I can't spot a pineapple there so there you go, what do I know? And that's a pear there and there's something else. There's apples and I, I, I don't know. Is, is that an apple as well? I've got no idea. Well anyway, it's summer fruits. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet, and it's really nice and refreshing. Whitaker's Toffees, and I didn't know that Whitaker's made toffees as well. I found these in a little New Zealand shop here. Pretty exciting, really. This one's a blackberry flavor. Can you see it yet? Oh no, it's melted. Oh gosh, it's really melted. It's melted, it doesn't look fantastic. I've got it all over my fingers, but let's try it. It's really sweet and I'm not a huge fan of this one. I was kind of looking forward to it because I love the Whitaker's chocolates. I've got two more flavours to try. This one's a lime K bar. Is this going to be bad too? Maybe it's because they've gotten melted so they've lost something. Oh gosh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> this is not looking pretty, is it? Oh, should I, how am I supposed to try that? Ooh. I don't really think it's fair to judge it on this one because I feel like something's gone horribly wrong. It's just gotten melted here. Um, yeah, let's try it anyway. Hey, this is going to look good. Mmm. Oh, okay. I like the lime flavoured one a lot better. I just like the flavour in it. But, you know, I don't want to race back for more though. Seriously, I don't even know how I'm supposed to get it out of there raspberry flavored and this feels all melted too this is going to look hideous get ready for it okay i'm showing you first does it look all right doesn't does it oh no it looks worse than the others <laughs> oh no there's no dainty way of taste testing this is there what's going on with it oh my gosh <sighs> As I said, I don't think it's fair to really judge it on this taste test because mine have all melted and gone to, oh gosh, wow. Um, everyone overseas, do you want to try that? Probably not. Everyone in New Zealand saying, what happened to your Whitaker's thing? I don't know. Yes, oh yum, I want to try that. <laughs> this is a raspberry flavoured one. Ugh. Oh no. The flavour in it's pretty good. I don't mind the raspberry one, I think that's my favourite one actually. 
So people in New Zealand, is this actually popular there? And I bet they don't look like this, do they? This is beginning to look like a crime scene. Oh gosh. Oh, how do I get out of the door? Come on, elbow. Oh, I the camera running. Cookie Bear 100s and 1000 Whittaker Chocolate. And this looks really exciting. Look at it, it's pink. It's got sprinkles in it. Actually in New Zealand, obviously they call them hundreds and thousands as well. In other countries they call them sprinkles. And uh, that, that sounds magical. It sounds like a fairy's done it. But we just call them hundreds and thousands because there's lots of them. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? It's got a little bear on the back. And it says here that it's limited edition. This is so cool. I want it to look as pretty as it does on the cover. And does it? Oh, look at that. Wow, so pretty. I almost don't want to eat it, but I will. Oh, okay, so look, it's got little bits of cookie inside of it. This hasn't got popping candy in it, has it? No. I can actually smell the cookies in it. Let's hope it tastes as good as it looks. Hmm. It's a really nice creamy white chocolate and I really like that there's that cookie inside of it and it's got a really nice te texture like a crunch when you get inside it. And then you've got the little tiny hundreds and thousands or sprinkles, which I guess you can sort of taste throughout it, but it's not a really strong flavor or anything. It's a mild chocolate, but very delicious. And if you're a kid, oh my gosh, you'd love this. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite New Zealand thing I've tried in this video is. And if you haven't tried any of these things before, what looks the most appealing? Have a fantastic week, everyone. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. Bye.